is if we can go around uh, and if everybody can introduce themselves. And what I'd love to have you do is you can say your name about creating a palette of um, collage papers for you to have. So I'm going to show you a variety of different techniques to do that. You do not have to demo the baking papers and um, the spanning cut is here because I'm going to show you how to cut your own stem if you want to. You can absolutely wrap it. And um, just the easiest way to do that is uh, when, when if you like printed something out of your printer or if you had paper or fabric with this sign. You can call from the supply list that in a very undoing like move, I told you to bring not black ink. Yeah, that was not I brought mine. Yeah, what the hell is that? Not black ink. And the reason is because I hate black. No, it's not harder. No, it's My favorite part of teaching class is the socializing. Is that terrible to say? I just like meeting people and geeking out about art. And the road didn't eat them. It'll be okay. What I say, I usually wipe them. The thing is, they change the texture of them. Whereas, we are making painted paper collages, so they are working on super awesome cutting up of deli paper and being completely imprecise while making amazing art. I was so amazed at this technique and how easy it was. I thought we were just going to paste the pieces down, take the little drawing, and cut it off. But no, it sticks to itself. My, that Julie is a smart girl. And this is an issue place where you really want to work fast because that medium is going to dry up and you want to make sure that you have enough and that no one's going in both directions and that's covering the whole thing. Okay, so wherever there isn't glue, there's going to be a bubble. So I'm going to put it down wherever I want. Working relatively quickly from the center, I'm pressing 